everyone who's attending the event today. Um, my name is um, Shilparia and I completed the Peace Education Programme. So most people who know me would probably say that I am very calm and collected, but actually what I was seeking is support with um, achieving um, inner peace um, and that calmness within. Um, after completing the Peace Education Programme, I put that into practice in my life um, and I've had um, various difficult um, uh, situations but most recently um, about six to eight months ago I was diagnosed with um, secondary breast cancer and was informed that I am um, that that cancer was terminal and that I'm now on um, on palliative care um, and I turned again to the teachings from the Peace Education Programme, um, which have really helped me to, um, I suppose, not just deal with, but to, to live with the situation. And it's enabled me to continue to have positive relationships with people and to have a positive outlook in life. Um, one of the things that I've done is created an express bucket list of things that I want to do. And um, I'm, as it's an express bucket list, I'm trying to go through that as quickly as possible. The first thing that I did was I um, had a trip to India. Um, at the age of 58, I've never been to India. And, um, and this was almost uh, something that I've been wanting to do for um, the last 30 years or so um, and the, I made it happen in December so I planned the whole um, uh, trip on my own and travelled most of the time on my own as well and really saw parts of India. I've also um, done other things on my bucket list um, and uh, really I continue to try and live a positive life as possible. And one of the things that I've asked all my friends and family to do is to also be positive um, around me. And I've really appreciated all the love and support that I've had. Um, and I've, one of the other things I've done is, um, is to reconnect with friends and family that have perhaps I've been a little bit distant from. This coming weekend, the reason I'm not able to be with you in person is because I'm going to go and see England play um, Iceland uh, at Wembley Stadium. And again, this is one of the things that's been on my bucket list forever. And um, so, yeah, I keep ticking those things off my bucket list and keep being positive uh, and having a positive outlook on life.